Today's a bit interesting as we're taking a look over at Niji Sanji English's UQ Wilson, who has recently come under fire of art theft accusations or tracing or plagiarism, copyright, whatever you want to call it. This is all due to Wilson's newest official mascot reveal that he announced a couple of days ago, saying, hello, Wilsoners. I have the pleasure of finally revealing to all of you what you look like. I hope you come to like the design. Special thanks to Marriott for this amazing work. And as you can see on screen, this is what the design looks like. And now the accusations of potential copyright theft or whatever you want to call it again brings us over to this person by the name of Kitty, who's a fan of Niji Sanji and Wilson that drew this image of Wilson and the Wilsoneers. This was drawn on September 8th of 2023. Wilson's announcement was announced earlier this month. And on screen is a side by side of the images. The left is the official mascot and on the right is this fan art from Kitty. After Wilson's announcement of the official mascot, Kitty tweeted out, I'm sorry to bring this tweet up again and the content may not be Pleasant. I believe everyone has seen Wilson Ears design and I can feel the community's joy about it. However, this issue has been troubling me. His design is similar to the AxoCat concept that I drew in September and I can't ignore it. I understand that once the design is submitted, the liver has the right to use it and I'm glad that everyone likes this mascot. Maybe he saw it in commission an artist, but I was not informed or mentioned that this design would be used or given to other artists for drawing. This has left me feeling a bit disappointed. However, my intention is not to disturb the liver. I just wanted to defend myself and explain that I had previously drawn this mascot. Thank you everyone for reading up to this point and thank you to those who have encouraged me. I am also happy to finally have an official mascot but I just need some time to process it. And now of course this had some people sending this over to Wilson wanting some explanations as to why the designs look so similar. Again some people fearing that Wilson may have copied the design and stolen the art and gave it to an artist to copy. Now Wilson ended up responding to this by saying hello kitty Wilsoners have brought your message to my attention and I wanted to address it. I did see your design at the time you posted it and really liked how cute it was. I did use your design as a reference as it did align with the general vision of my mascot I was talking about on my member stream. However, I wanted to give it more of a hybrid vibe right in the middle between an axolotl and a cat. It also did feel natural for me to make it wear the goggles at the same place as I do on my outfit as you also did illustrate beautifully. I understand your points and I'm terribly sorry to have made you feel that way. It was absolutely not my intention intention to cause you any distress. I am willing to redesign the Wilsoneers mascot if this makes you uncomfortable, please let me know. Once again, I am deeply sorry about this issue. So Wilson admitted to pretty much taking inspiration from the design that Kitty had made and turning it into his own design and giving it a little bit of a spin. And that made some people question why Wilson wouldn't just commission this artist that drew the fan art of the Wilsoneers to make the official mascot. Now Kitty responded to Wilson's reply saying, first of all, I want to thank you for responding responding to my message and thank you for being willing to explain. It's okay if the fan mascot doesn't need to be resigned. Wilsonier has been waiting for a long time and approaching the half anniversary mark of crisis. It would be a pity to not have an image to celebrate together with you. Let Wilsoneers become AxoCat. However, my personal request is that I hope you can mention me on Twitter and explain this matter to people who don't know about it yet. After all, you also mentioned that you referenced my illustration. I'm glad that you like this design and want it to become the appearance of Wilson here. If possible, I also hope that we can discuss and come up with an even better design together. But since you already have chosen another artist for the creation, I will respect your decision. Thank you again, Wilson, for being willing to respond to this matter, and I hope you can mention my artwork and explain it well. And after their entire conversation, Wilson tweeted out, Hey everyone, unfortunately, I will not be streaming for a little while. I will most likely be featured on other live or streams, and I will let you know when I'll be back live on my channel. Then following that by saying, For further context, before I am not being understood or the worst is assumed, I am working on fixing the fan mascot issue. Please be patient with me. A lot is happening in the background. Thank you very much. Following that tweet up once again by saying, please also keep in mind, I work for a company. The procedures regarding copyright and legality of something like a commercially used mascot are not something I can tackle lightly. Believe me when I say I am trying my hardest to solve this and make this as easy as possible. Some people after these tweets have said things like, please be patient. Do not attack anyone. I don't want to see someone we value you a lot get harmed and what we can do is waiting patiently. Give livers and artists or the management time. I'm glad at least he's making this announcement first so we know it's under process. And others saying, I feel bad for the original artist because I'm also an artist. I understand their feelings so much. At the same time, I also feel bad for Wilson because I saw some people blaming him for his actions, especially after tweeting this. It sucks to be an empath. Some others said, nah, that's too disrespectful to the original design due to how he says in reply. With people saying, if 
he wanted some changes, he should have contacted the original artist instead of commissioning someone else. Him saying he can change the design was putting the original artist on the spot. That was pretty rude of him. The original artist shouldn't have to feel guilty for wanting to be credited slash wanting their original idea to be recognized. So that's the situation currently going on with Wilson. I hope things are able to get resolved and the original artist that designed the mascot at first is able to get some sort of credit when it comes to the actual design. But please just let me know what you all think about that situation down below. As in some other Niji news, we had Inna Alouette and Millie Parfait debuting their brand new outfits as part of the Zutomo outfit reveal. Both of those outfits look amazing. If you missed the streams, I will link them down below for you to check them out. Here are a few clips from those streams. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at the shadows. It's so detailed. Oh my gosh. Oh, should we? Do you want us? Do you want to see and take a sneak peek of what's underneath my skirt? Fun fact, by the way, this one here was a big inspiration to Etheria's third, second anniversary charm. I'm like dancing. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh yeah. Look. Look at my fingers. I forgot to paint my nails. <laughs> just, uh, you know, I'm just a quirky little girl forgetting to paint my nails. But that's okay. Whoa. Ah. Lucy's also wearing a scarf. The same ribbon. Which is so cute. Look at him. Two. One. Ta-da! What do you guys think? It's really simple. Really, really simple this time. So cute. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. Oh yes, here we go. Every you, every VTuber new outfit formula. We're starting with the shoes first. Boop. Oh, what's that? Oh, I do have a jacket. Interesting. Oh my god. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop going there. Hold on. Oh, look too hard, chat. I'm shy. You <laughs> live. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I mean, I guess you weren't like completely wrong. Uh, but like, I mean, like the main color, you know? But yeah! Uh, look at the absolute insanity that my mama. That's just. This is just crazy, guys. Look at that. My wing has been upgraded once again. And it's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how they come up with this sort of thing. There's gears inside of my wing. It's crazy. Seno! Ta da! I don't have glasses! <laughs> We also had Dapio announcing a Niji Sanji Suica game tournament happening on the 29th of November. If you want to learn even more about that, I will leave it linked down below for you to do so. That's all for me today, guys, though. Please let me know what you all think about everything we talked about down below and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.